Hello everyone, welcome to a daily run with what looks to me to be Judas. We know how Judas starts. Very strong, but uh, this is terrible. Uh, only one HP, so we're going to have to find at least some HP if we want to have a hope of going into that curse room, which I do. I mean, I have a hope, and the hope basically centers on us finding HP. I'm going to use these bombs immediately. Not necessarily the strongest idea I've ever had. This, uh, but it says he gave us two trinkets, one of which is okay, but doesn't really work for us because we've just used the only things that it works with. And here's a spirit heart now, or at least a tinted rock. I mean, you know, you can't tar all tinted rocks with the same spirit heart brush, but there's a good chance that it contains a spirit heart, I think, um, which would allow us to get into the curse room. But I did use both bombs in what may have been a, uh, a, a premature blowing of that particular load. This cane's eye though, such a shit item. So do you want to try for the secret room or this HP here? I think we hope for the HP. Uh, it's a shitload of spiders, let's just leave and run away. Help. Not used our book of Bilal yet. We'll use it on the boss for sure. It's fat face, I mean famine. Fat face was a cat. And fat face died. Fat face didn't die. Fat face was put down. Because Fat Face had diabetes and went crazy and we had to chop off his tail. He wasn't really called Fat Face, he was called Felicis. But it's still a bit of a sad story. But it's also a shop which sells clothes at hideously marked up prices. Probably. I don't know. How much does it cost to make clothes? I know that it's expensive to make them, but I can't imagine it's expensive for Fat Face to make clothes. We might as well use this. What did I do? We're going to the mum fight. We need that. That's happened twice. <laughs> this is not the first series. Uh, it's not the first series. This is the only series. This is not the first episode of this series in which I've used an Awas rune when I should not have. So I'm going to hope that we are not permanently punished for our mistake there. Please leave me alone. Thank you. Uh, and, and we get a replacement, basically. It's the only option is to get another way down past the mum fight because we're only going as far as mum. This means that it is very important that we get to boss rush. Yesterday we didn't, um, even though we came quite highly ranked anyway. Um, more by luck than judgment, I have to be honest. I assume many people didn't go for the go balls deep on the idea of getting the, um, the teleport in the self-sacrifice room. I'm going to just go for this. We don't have a key. So we can't do our item room or our shop. So hopefully there's another way through past the mom fight. Because we do need to do boss rush. When it ends at mom, you got to do boss rush. Even if, you know, it doesn't look like you're going to be able to. you got to pull out all the stops and make it happen. Uh, we'll take this second. It wasn't the greatest idea. Shit. We'll take this for sure. We can't afford... Oh, we can't afford that. We're going to take it and try not to step on any spikes. Oh, a dime from shooting that joker. The only reason I shot it was so it didn't hurt me whilst I was pulling this incredibly crazy stunt, which has paid off. Right, we now have the Pact, which is an excellent damage and, I believe, tears upgrade? Something like that. Uh, and we have... Oof, this is one of those rooms. This is one of those insta-death Judas rooms. We have contract from below, which is going to do great for our um, consumables. Oh, seriously. <sighs> this room every fucking time. We could swap a bomb for a key, or at least try to. We may do that. I think I'll do that. Did work. I want to go to the item room, but I also want to go to the shop. I think there's a strong chance that the shop will contain a key. There is a decent chance just because it's the shop, right? So we go in. We hope for the best. There is both... A steam sale, which we can afford because we take the key afterwards, and therefore the key was cheaper. And I'm so glad that I did. And there was a, a penny back. So we've got nine inch, eight inch nails, which is. I think it has a high knockback, but it's also a high damage upgrade. And I'm not going to the curse room because I'm scared. I could have gone back in there, turns out. Uh, don't forget, Book of Belial does give us a better chance of getting a deal with the devil. Where it used to be, as I will continue to point out, a guaranteed chance. So it's not even a chance, it's just a guarantee. 
I mean, all chances are guaranteed, right? One in a million chances crop up ten times out of ten. Nine times out of ten. But, uh, yeah. It's only a higher deal with the devil chance at the moment. We don't really have any consumables at all, which is... It's worrisome. Because we have contract from below, which is going to be doubling every reward that we get. But we actually have to get rewards for that to have any effect at all. Trying to uh, resist using um, the baller bandages, mostly because I'm quite aware that... Oh, that was really bad. Did you see that, though? Quite aware that if I use the baller bandages uh, at all, I'm going to walk into the enemy rather than kill it. But it... It's not as tempting as it may have been because we did get an amazing amount of damage upgrade on the previous floor. I'm going to be looking to be able to fly to get that. Maybe a hanged man card? And just continue to try not to get hit because we've not done very well on that respect. I did spend a lot of HP in exchange for quite a lot of damage. Um, which is usually a good trade. I mean, sometimes it will bite you is what I'm saying. Those travel so far, those bullets. We have two keys. We may be able to buy a spirit heart. We can. BFFs could be great with the ball of bandages that we have. But since the only other item... That, mm, the only right re well, rewards. I thought it was rocks. Don't want that at all. Uh, the only other item that we have that will benefit at all from BFFs at the moment uh, is Kane's Eye, which is shit, regardless of how strongly it fires. You can tell why it's shit, I hope, just by looking at the screen. And if we have to fight Pestilence, at least we fight this form of Pestilence on what is actually not uh, flooded caves, but just good old-fashioned caves. So it's not producing any of those stupid drowned enemies. We have a second level ball of bandages now. So that's actually really good. We have a guppy item, which I uh, don't want to take, but I really, really have to. If we become guppy on this run before the mom fight, we're completely justified in having made that decision, but there aren't very many opportunities to become guppy right now. <coughs> Ooh, excuse me. Uh, for even guppy-esque items to drop, I have to be honest. You know, it's going to be random red chests and maybe a golden chest if we can even open one. Our bombs are creepy bombs. Uh, we should probably mention that because... That was the trinket we picked up when I wasted, as it turns out, my bombs on the first floor. It does give us our bombs a little bit of creep. It's slightly better than having more champions. This is a normal run, by the way. Uh, a normal difficulty run. Which means there are fewer champions. Now, champions can drop consumables, but most of the time they just hurt more. So I'm going to be using Book of Belial as much as possible, just to ensure that we get through these rooms without taking... Any damage we don't have to. I hope these things can't do a full HP as worth of damage to this, because that would immediately kill us, although we do have Guppy's Collar, which could bring us back. Don't count on it. As usual, don't count on uh, a 50-50 chance. But it could rescue us if it needs to. It's not guaranteed at all. Certainly not guaranteed enough to make me happy to... I want you to be over here. Okay, you could just walk into the fire and be in completely the wrong place completely. Could be a secret room here. There is, and we're guaranteed to get that secret block anyway. Oh, please rescue me from my previous AWAS fail. I'm going to use this. I think we have enough rooms before the boss. Also, we're strong enough that honestly the boss shouldn't be too much of a difficulty anyway. That blank room could turn out to be AWAS. Bad gas is not too bad. Algiers and fucking yes. blank rooms. What do we do here? We can't get into our shop. I guess we use algiers on the off chance that something bad happens. And then we maybe hold a blank rune and pop it and hope that it's AWAS if we don't find something else that will get us past the mom fight. There are uh, a non-insignificant quantity of self-sacrifice rooms, at least we've seen so far. But, uh, shit would... Like, Sod's Law would have it, but... You fucking get that from behind that mushroom. Uh, Sod's law would dictate that if we get all the way to the mom fight, do boss rush, teleport out of boss rush, then the any opportunity that we have to get to the next floor, e.g. our black rune or the uh, self-sacrifice room, will not work. 
We may have not enough HP to do the self-sacrifice room, which seems like the most likely outcome. Or, in fact, there just won't be one when we get to the mom fight. Uh, I mean, that's a decent amount of money right there, but... We really need something slightly more substantial in terms of defense at this stage. I mean, we're doing a lot of damage, so we don't put ourselves in danger for quite as long a time. Which is one of the main benefits of doing a lot of damage. There is a second locked room, which means one of them is probably a library, or at least contains some cards. Haven't picked up any real HP at all, which is odd for a normal run. I think that may be one of the things that the difficulty of the run uh, affects, but it seems like we're just heading on. It's two of these. Two one makes you small, so one makes you twice as small. This could be dangerous. Luckily we're doing a lot of damage, but it could still be very dangerous. At least we're one shot in the Riffra. We want to be able to get rid of all the um, the worst of the the ads. We want to crowd control as effectively as possible, especially on this fight. So we do take this first, although I'm hoping for a, a Krampus fight to be honest. Oh shit. <laughs> this is a dick move as well, game. Ugh. I really, really, really want Horror of Babylon. Because it would make our damage outrageous, but we have to go for the Guppy Dream. Now, do we keep it? I have to say no. Because the Book of Belial is saving us quite a lot. It's keeping us very alive. And we haven't found a single key. There's been very few consumable drops at all. Considering we have Contract Room Below, which normally makes consumable drops out of control. So two-thirds of the way towards Guppy. It can be done. Oh, shit. We're okay. Where the fuck are my keys, though? Um, maybe we try for a secret room somewhere? Does it seem like it could be here? Let's check this room. It does seem like it could be here. If it has keys in it, this will be a great play. Oh, it's got one makes it small. It's got explosive diarrhea. Get over here. Do something with those. Explosive. Not another Question marks, addicted is nothing. Lemon party is great, but not here. Well, we can't get into this item room. What do we do? Do we take the blank room and hope that it's AWAS later? Do we get it? It's Hagalaz. Well, it's like three. It's another Hagalaz and an Algis. Eh. Let's just get a press on, try and get to boss rush. Do as best we can. It may be that that AWAS rune was the only way past the mom fight. Or at least the most effective and efficient way past the mom fight, but you know what I'm like. You know, AOS rune will just use this here. It saves us the HP on the way out of the curse room. Oh shit, we needed that to actually compete in the game. What a tosser. What's done is done. So, we'll head down to the next floor and take stock. Not wood stock. Just stock. Like, um, bouillon. Bouillon? Like booleans. You either do or you don't have it. Bombs could be good. Especially if we find a bombs a key pill. This is probably a great time to find one, actually. If we feel like we're in danger, we'll just use Book of Belial. But I'm going to have a justifiable too good to use syndrome at this stage of the game because, honestly, uh, it basically is too good to use on any room that we're not in immediate danger of dying on. That was really well played, I have to say because normally I eat shit on that room. Is this Necropolis? It feels like a Necropolis. Uh, second level bandage girl here is that's charming enemies sometimes. So maybe we should avoid... Um, maybe we should avoid damaging the ones that are on our side for the time being. Still no keys. I wonder what was in that item room. I don't know if there's a better way of using the keys. Um, like, the absolute quantity of keys that have happened on the game so far have not sufficed to get us into any of the oof, any of these rooms. I'm going to shoot these because they are inevitably going to be the agents of my demise. If I oh, I see you in there. I'm going to try and get the skull as well. It could drop a black heart. Didn't. We got a spirit heart for it. Used both our bombs to do so, but at this very tentative grip on life, I think that's well worth it. It's a necropolis for you, so... I did check that, and then I checked again. But it's best to double check than to be wrong, right? What distance does it make? Not really any. It's just... I feel like I'm more justified for doing badly on a Necropolis floor, maybe. I don't know. Shit, help run. 
Leave me alone. Our range of damage are great though, so. Ah, finally. So we don't need to. We don't need to concern ourselves with the possibility that we have to get too close to enemies and therefore take damage as a result of not being able to dodge, uh, which is often a concern. We could go to this curse room, but I think it may be ill advised, he says diplomatically. Horrendously foolish, he says slightly more justifiably correctly. Oh, yeah, we should do it, shouldn't we? I mean, we don't want the reward, but we want the points for doing it. We want to spend the time either, but I guess we can try and use Bandage Girl to do it. Ball of bandages at this stage. Ball of bandage going. I mean, she's got her face going. And her bow. But she's not got any legs, so at what point is a human a human? We'll take this. Thank you. So our black rune could be an AWAS rune. That's what we're basically relying on for this game to go anywhere. Because many people would have been paying attention and gone, Hey, this is an AWAS rune. That's exactly what we need because we're only going as far as mum. But in fact, I went, oh, AWAS will take any damage leaving this floor. And then I dirt. Immediately, I realized my dirt. No bombs, of course. Plenty of keys now, though. So maybe we head back to this shop over here. Bit of a trek. And we are taking time to do so. Time we none. Time we are not necessarily at the luxury of spending. Uh, but we'll take this. And we'll take this. And um, we'll see what this is. It's uh, two of diamonds, which basically pays for the shop. We should have done it first. Never mind. There's a super secret room here. We know where the boss is. Oh, there's no bombs. Right, we just need to find our item room now. Maybe we should have realised where the boss is and said, we're going to go to the shop on the fucking way back, you dumbass. What the hell is wrong with you? So many misplays today. Uh, it's... I don't play much Isaac. I, I'd like to sort of excuse myself somewhat by acknowledging that I don't have... I don't have the opportunity to practice the, the correct plays. I don't really want friendly ball. Um, which is to say... A daily run has a different set of priorities from a standard run. On a standard run, you're just looking to do really well. You know, you've got to get as far as you intend to, which is hopefully all the way, and achieve whatever you're trying to achieve, but really you're just looking to win. Uh, please no. On, uh, on a daily run, there's limitations that you don't usually take into account, like the fact that you're only going so far in the game in the first place. Just trying to get somewhere where the bloat isn't going to... Oh, I got hit. It's fine. I was trying to get past his brimstone zone. But I hit the eyeball on the way, which is a shame. But this is great, and this is pretty good too. Don't forget we didn't take a Horror of Babylon, because we, we couldn't. And I suspect better play would have meant that we could. But better play did not happen, so we didn't, because we couldn't. Uh, and that's the way that goes. So, here's where we try and beeline to the boss if possible. But we don't want to do that until we have a way out. Um, uh, we did it. Uh, which is, I mean, I want to be able to teleport out of boss rush and then complete the floor. Because boss rush is the only time limit we have on this run, even if we do get past um, the, this floor. Which is not looking very likely right now. There will be no hush, so there's going to be nothing to race for after it. Oh god, let me out. Oh, creep! I always ignore creep, sort of mentally. I have a blind spot for it in the back of my head. Which is one of the things you should be better at from actually playing the game normally. It's part of the not dying strat, which seems to work quite well for most people. <sighs> So yeah, the, the the things you have to do differently on a daily run. I don't play either the daily run or just the normal game nearly often enough to get the hang of what strats to use when. And not thinking about an AWAS rune in terms of getting past the inherent restrictions of the challenge. Well, it's, it's common. It's, it's going to happen. Oh well. We've basically done everything we need to do on this floor anyway. 
The dead onion gives us spectral and piercing shots at once. At the expense of uh, a lot of damage. But it, I think it's a damage upgrade. Not a damage. At the expense of a lot of range. Shot speed specifically. We probably should go into the uh, secret resource. We'll make larger. This is health up. It's a health down really. And a lemon party. We want our blank rune just in case it's what we want. None of that was telepills, unfortunately. No fucking bombs. Why didn't you check that before you went there? Which means we can't uh, play for a red mom. It's easy. We can't play for a full card or something like that to get out. But it didn't look like there was. Oh, that was actually stupid. <laughs> it was particularly awful. How did that manage that? You may be wondering. Red mom just stomps a lot, by the way. So that makes it easier because you just need to keep moving and then apply ball of bandages whenever possible. Oh, I picked it up! I was standing on top of it and he just picked it up. That's bullshit, man! God! Oh well. This shit happens. That would have happened even if I had the AWAS room, so I feel slightly vindicated for fucking up the AWAS room play, but Jesus Christ. That was just so bad at the end there, did you see? Oh, what a crying, crying shame. Still, 823rd. Don't forget, a lot fewer people are playing now, so that's a, a worse score than it would otherwise have been. But at least our time score was a lot better because we didn't do boss rush. Well, thank you for watching. I think I'm going to go and uh, cry myself to sleep at my complete ineptitude at every video game I play, which is this one and, of course, The Darkest Dungeon, uh, at which I am also terrible, but for different reasons. And I'll see you maybe tomorrow.